I Love Me, I Love Me Not is a game about mental health. You play as a flower who's lost their petals, and you want to engage in acts of personal care to grow them back and eventually flourish. To get the obvious out of the way immediately, the game is overflowing with kind, heartfelt, compassionate sentimentality. It seeks to heal, never to hurt. It comes from a good place, and I admire its tone, goals, and a loving heart. We do still need to discuss the particulars, regardless. In I Love Me, I Love Me Not, the player interacts with a variety of NPCs who teach self-healing and self-care practices, usually through a mini-game of some sort. On average, these are cute little ways to inform the player of their negative biases toward themselves and how to overcome destructive habits. My favorite, perhaps predictably, is the one where we mend our broken heart with healthy habits and patience. Time heals all wounds, after all. As a tool that teaches players to consider aspects of their well-being that they might otherwise neglect, this game is fantastic. Getting people to start considering how they treat themselves is no easy feat, and I believe creations like this are a gentle nudge in the right direction. I also, frankly, think the game looks beautiful. It's simplistic, but there is an elegance to that simplicity. I adore the way the flower bobs up and down as it travels, the way the grass sways, and how the bubbly, hopeful music urges you onward as you travel along your personal journey to a healthier you. Sure, the presentation's a bit abstract, but it fits well with the innocent, tender nature of the overall world being shown. Unfortunately, as sweet-hearted as the game is, I do think it has its flaws. Some of the practices it encourages are egotistical, unrealistic, or unhealthy, which contrasts strongly with the overall theme. The biggest offender is the self-affirmation minigame, where you're meant to type the opposite of whatever negative thoughts appear. While very cute in concept, it swings way too far. For example, you might get a thought like, everyone hates me, and the game will want you to type, no one hates me. And, well, that's just not true. I know for a fact some people hate me. Quite a lot. They're also unlikely to ever stop hating me. Writing, no one hates me, isn't self-affirmation, it's delusional. And it's not making me a healthier person. The solution isn't to convince myself that I'm not hated, it's to acknowledge that if someone does hate me, it doesn't matter. I have value to myself and others, and I can't make everyone love me. No one can. There's also this dog, Jupiter, that wants to teach you origami. If you want to play his minigame, you have to first tell him you already like origami. If you, say, don't like it, and you tell him you don't, then he won't play with you, and he gets a bit huffy about it. This actively encourages the player not to speak their honest thoughts, but to instead placate those around them, even at the cost of their own well-being. Since this is a game about self-care, it feels rather contradictory. Jupiter is being a pretty bad friend. Those low points aside, it is a lovely experience overall. It could do to have a more realistic outlook on the world, but it's still a valuable teaching tool, and I'm grateful it exists. Go check it out.